Well, one year or two, we're trying to educate Western people about our culture. We take them to the cave so they can understand. And we show them, we, we painted them, we smoked them. That's how they respect, that they respect for the Wanyanas in the cave. Well, good morning, guys. Uh, one and two is like to welcome you all. First of all, this cave represents a fish dreaming. The reason we want to tell um, tourists about us, about our culture and everything, is uh, so that they can understand us. If they can understand where we're coming from and like how we live and all this, and like our culture and all that, so they know that when they go to a place up along the coast, they know the story for that place. Okay, folks, welcome to Freshwater Cove, or what we call Wijangari Bart Bart. Um, this area, the whole area for Freshwater Cove, is a sacred place for us. Our culture is really strong up and up here, this way, in the Kimberley. Our culture is really strong, and we just um, want to keep it that way, you know, like keep it going so that it doesn't get lost. One year or two is. What we're trying to do is educate our young people about how to work with them, self-determination, so they can learn something that they can do for themselves. You can sort of see a face there. Yeah. I feel very proud of myself telling, you know, and, and when the stories, they sort of listen to me talking, they all stop quiet and, and open their ears and then they want to see what comes out of my mouth. And when I, when I sort of finish my story, they all like, their eyes all open, you know, and that's what I like to see. Well, I feel proud of them, for them to learn something, and they, they love it too, you know, they like talking to people, you know, they, you know, they, folks, welcome to new generation to like, go, you know, talking, and they love it, you know. They're giving them something to be proud of, you know, to themselves, you know, because they do or something, it's good, you know. Nothing bad about it, it's just real good to teach, you know? When I um, come back here to country, for me it's really, um, I feel really glad coming back. You feel really heavy, uh, heavy when you're leaving, but then when you come back you sort of feel light and really happy to be back on country. You feel sort of part of, you know, just for a little minute, a little bit part of the place, which is really nice feeling and having it in a setting like this, it's so natural, it's beautiful. I definitely would recommend doing it, it's a great experience. I love this country. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a gift to us, you know, it's something that we belong to that country, you know, it's, it's our country that Wanyana gave us, you know, he said, oh, this is your land, this is your country, you look after it, you know, we have to look after it. And I'm proud to be on this land because it's my ancestors. We not only just offer um, cultural tours to the tour boats, we also offer um, long-term overnight stays here. So people can come and book and stay in one of the cabins and interact and intermingle and spend a week with the, uh, with the people here. The idea was that we, we wanted to get young kids up here and, and uh, live on country and work and earn some money. And we figured, well, the best way to do that is through cultural tourism. It's just a beginning, you know. We don't know how long it can go, but at least we're doing something for our younger generation, you know, and learning about Wanyanas. Just they learning and non aboriginal people learning about our culture. It's so that you know, it can go on forever.